Okay, so we're back. Now we're cutting the actual rough, rough cutting the actual profile of what I want to produce here. Uh, because we had already cut down the front with the test taper, I've been roughing this down, but I skipped over all of that because I was cutting a lot of air in the front end. I had already turned that all down, so it was below the roughing diameter already. So we're back to roughing here. Okay, but I'm going to skip over this too. We're going to use the Prototrack tracking feature here in order to skip over the portion where I won't be making any chips and get right back to making chips. So this thing's been roughing it down, it's taking pass, takes a pass, takes a pass, comes back to the beginning, wants to take another roughing pass now. So I'm going to switch from CNC run to track. Now I'm going to skip over all of that right there because I'm cutting air. Cutting air, no chips, no chips, skip right over it. And then we go back to the control panel here. We hit stop, we go to CNC run, CNC run, go. Now the machine takes over and continues the roughing cut for me. I'm going pretty easy here, pussyfooting with this. I got it sticking out probably a little more than it should be sticking out being that it's unsupported with a center but it's one inch stock I'm taking baby cuts no big deal here chip management is nice as you can see the spiraling up and breaking off nice so now I'll show you what we do when we get to the end we let that go we come back to the beginning we hit stop on the control we go track and then we can skip over all of that at a relatively fast pace not have to let it feed at three and a half inches a minute and we go back to where we left off there go back to the control stop cnc run go making chips again so now if i hadn't already roughed down the front testing that taper to how it fits on the prop this thing would just be making chips the entire time but I don't want to cut air at three and a half inches a minute and let it run longer than it needs to. Boom, stop. There again. Track. Cut. See, we're still quite a ways here. We're only at a 734 diameter. It's getting closer though. It's getting closer. This is probably the last one we're skipping. See, we're cutting there, so stop. See, see, run, go. I need a tripod or I need to mount this thing on me so that you can get this point of view and I got two hands to work. See, we'd be cutting air right now. Cutting air. I would have done that for like 10 passes if I didn't use the tracking feature. Stop, track, go. Where are we gonna go? Skip over that. All right, we're cutting again. Stop, CNC run, go. So now it's roughing down the angle. Stop, track, go to where we're gonna make chips. Making chips, stop, CNC run, and go. So we're getting close now. I'm not gonna skip over it anymore, I'll just let it run. So we're rough turning here for a half inch 20 thread in the front, it's gonna be an inch and a quarter long. And then we go to this mongrel two degree taper. Yeah, this could run a lot faster if I was supported on the end with a center. But I don't want to chip that insert. I'm running out of tools, running out of money to buy tools. So send me your work, please.
that's currently at a 542 diameter, 0.542. Probably take, you know, like another pass there on the rough. And then it'll get out of the way for me to switch tools to my finished tool. This video's getting long, we're creeping up on six minutes now, so I'll stop and make another one when I finish profile, take the finished profile cut. So on the Prototrack, what this I'm using here is called a cycle turn feature. It's like a G70, G71 type program for uh, G-code programming, but it's all conversational. Just asks you how many passes, which axis are you cutting in, which tool you're roughing, which tool you're finishing with, the feed rates for each tool, finish cut, plug in all that information, Program the outside finish profile and then the machine does the rest for you. Done. Wants me to change tools. I'm gonna stop here.